what's going on everybody welcome for the first time or back to another DLJ works video and today what I'm going to show you how to do is how to upload multiple files to your cPanel on your hosting account now in a lot of my videos you will soon find out that the only hosting platform that I use is just toast so this is the platform that I recommend that everybody else use as well but to each his own GoDaddy HostGator they're all the same they all have a file manager so you can pretty much carry this same processing method to each one of those platforms wherever you're choosing but if you're deciding to rock with me and feel like I can really help you with whatever you're doing then the platform now I'm choose that I choose for all of my clients and myself is just so so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to file manager so you need to look for that on the back end of your hosting account from there what we're going to do next we're going to choose web root click submit and the reason why we needed to choose web root is to take us to the public HTML that you see here because this is where all of your websites will be located. Now, for the hosting account, I have a on the single one that I'm actually using, I host multiple domains on there. So you will actually see all the multiple domains here on the back end on the cPanel. OK, so you see all of that here now. What we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and we're going to install a whole entire, let's see here, form that has multiple files. So we're going to go to upload. All right. We're going to go to choose file. And I want to put this jQuery form that I created on jQueryform.com. We're going to put the zipped file. As you can see, I have an open file here, an unzipped file, but we're going to put the zipped file up there. Go to open. Okay, that didn't take long to download at all, or upload, I should say. All right, now that we have it here, you see that we have our zipped folder, jQuery form folder. We're going to next go to the extract that's right up here. Leave this path as public HTML. And you see everything here uploads all correctly. No problems at all. If it was a problem, it'll tell you that it could not upload. There was an error, restricted, all those messages. So we're going to now go to close. Okay. And we can actually see now that our open form is here. We can just simply delete this off. If I double click. We see that the cPanel properly parses all the files out just as you would have them out here on your desktop. Let me see if I can pull up that folder. As you will have it just open up here on your desktop. So let's go back. Now let's see if this actually works. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new tab. I'm going to tap into the pathway. dot com forward slash jQuery form dash and what was the name of it was like a code it was like we're just going to zero three bd eighty nine zero three bd eighty nine slash form dot html and voila it worked like a charm so we have the form now created correctly upload it to your cPanel all right that is going to be it for this video um, we will definitely see you in the next video if you have anything that was confusing please leave a comment in the comment section and make sure to watch this next video next tutorial to help you out in your web development and hosting endeavors